Hey everyone, I want to talk to you about a journey that I started about a year ago. Come along with me, won't you? Okay, so what I want to talk to you about was moving from our carnivore diet to a vegetarian diet. So I love meat. I love animals, but I also love meat. But I started thinking about it and I got to tell you, I made the decision with my family to start moving towards a vegetarian diet. We're not vegetarians, but we're moving towards that vegetarian diet. And I decided that because I knew that every time I ate a meal, so three times, four, five, sometimes six times a day, I get to decide the impact that I'm going to have on this world. I'm gonna decide the impact I'm going to have on the environment, also on my own health and my own wallet. So with every single meal. So for me, it was really powerful to start to be able to take that decision in my hands and, and decide and see an outcome with every single meal. So some of the things that helped lead me to this direction, uh, about a year ago, one of my coworkers started an accountability group. So we decided every Monday we would try to not eat meat and everybody who did not eat meat would a green mark. If you ate meat that day, you got a red mark. And I said, oh, this is easy. I don't want to do it, but I can do this. This is easy. Found that about the end of the time, I had only 50% of the time not eaten meat on a day of the week. And that to me was a little bit of, I was disheartened by that, that I couldn't actually do this challenge. So a little bit was accountability. From there, uh, I took an app called Meal Line and I chose the vegetarian options on this app. It will, it'll only show you the vegetarian options and you choose the meals you want, it will combine all of your ingredients into one shopping list and that's where you shop from. That is a very, very powerful tool. The time to decide whether you're gonna eat meat or not is not when you're sitting down for dinner. If you're hungry, you're gonna go for the things you really love. The time to decide is when you're doing your shopping list or when you're deciding where to go for dinner because where you go is going to obviously inform your eating decisions. So those are a couple of the steps that, that I took along with my family. And from there, it was pretty exciting to see some of the changes that we could actually make in our own eating habits. Now, like I said, we are not vegetarian. We still do eat meat, but we've drastically reduced the amount of meat that we eat and it is not necessarily the feature of the meal. It is more of an accessory to the meal. So I wanna continue the conversation. So I'd love to talk to you guys in the comments below about our journey, different tips you have taken to try to decrease the amount of meat that you eat and maybe benefits that you've seen, tips, uh, recipes. Let's keep the conversation going because like I said, this is an opportunity for you to make a decision once or twice a week, can you, can you impact the, the earth a little bit less, have a little bit less meat, and, uh, and again, also be a little healthier for yourself. So I appreciate you listening, appreciate you hanging out with me tonight. You guys have a great day, stay safe out there, and we'll see you later.